Okay, guys, welcome back to another episode of Farm Simulator 2022. Now, I had the neighbor over there up on the hill come and steal my tractors, so that's a problem. Actually, he didn't, but let's kick a tire and get started. I want to show you guys something right off the bat. I was actually going to advance to August so we could start seeding right away, and this guy popped in, and I know what you're thinking. We don't. We can't afford a semi right now. Of course not. But Discount Dave cannot resist the temptation to get this trailer. And I'm going to show you guys why here in a second. So let's flip over. I've actually brought Clifford up here with the bail trailer. And actually I brought up, because we bought in the last episode, because I can't not spend a ton of money every episode. I have actually bought... Uh, this roller and we did need to bring it back anyway so uh, I brought the baler up with cool blue and uh, the as we go into here you're gonna see we don't need the baler anymore because we're gonna be looking for a new one before we bail we'll get into what we're gonna be doing instead of bailing but for right now this baler is no use to us and we need it for this thing right here we don't have enough money for it and a lot to get into today so let's get started I don't want that thing to come off of the list. So let's get it bought right now. Um, we want design two, and that's very important to us. And we're gonna, I'm gonna show you why later. But for right now, and we don't, we want, we want chrome, right? Right, we, oh, no, not yet. Let me pick chrome, dang it. Oh, it's $3,000 more. All right, we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to do this at. Oop, right here. Yeah, we're gonna do this. Well, it doesn't matter what color. There's no plate game. We'll do this with normal for now, and we'll buy this. All right. Now the good news is that leaves us with enough money to buy a semi. No, I'm kidding. We're actually gonna be buying. A thingy doodler of justice a, that's a technical name um, we're gonna be buying this dolly for right here and we oh yeah why can't the chrome rims be on the tire or trailer for free um let's do chrome because eventually that's what we'll be doing no I don't want a license plate no bat no no plate you you're not good enough to have a name, so I'm sorry, dude. And let's do Michelin, because they're probably going to be more roadie looking. Let's purchase that for 9000 Now, let's grab Clifford here. Man, I'm so glad we got Clifford. This has been one of the best buys we have, for sure. So let's grab the Dolly. So we're not going to need the semi because we have the dolly. But this trailer is going to be super important to us for a few reasons. I don't know if you guys noticed, but this deck is lower right now than the bale trailer was, which is a big thing for us, having a forklift for them seed bags. And also that forklift paid a little bit more, played a little bit more into why we got this. So we're going to go over here, hook this up. We're going to go see what the repairs on it. It looks bad, but it might not be that bad. Um, and also, now that our equipment's starting to get better, we're going to have to get into livestock. And uh, well, let's make sure we're on that one. Then we can unhook the dolly instead of the double deck. All right, so repair. Oh, okay, it's not nearly as bad as it looks. And we don't need to repaint it. We'll probably actually repaint it when we put chrome on it. All right. So. Also, when we get back, I'm going to show you why the forklift and this go well together. Because you're probably like, what in the world? It's not that much better. Let's unfold the low loader here quick. And let's see. Let's just see if we can. Oh, we're going to have to repair this thing too. Crud. Okay. Hopefully we have enough money for all these excursions today and these new buys. 
Let's roll it into here. Honestly, I'm thinking Cool Blue needs another repair already. All right, let's go over here. Again, not as bad as it looks. And we'll just repair them because we got them here. Also, your paint is looking not so hot anymore. You need to get him washed up. I think we might be able to get this on the trailer and save us a trip because I don't even hire I know we talked about not hiring workers I don't even hire them to like take stuff to the shop or not ooh okay let's try to get that on a little straighter oh okay okay alright alright we'll, let's do this right here let's get them lined up and actually, this part's going to be handy because we can actually use this to move. I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to get a harvester on there. Which, honestly, if you haven't driven that thing across the map, you would not realize. Let's strap it down. De Love the physics, guys. And the mechanics. I You can tell it's strapped down because it moves and it won't fall off. But I wish they'd done a strapologist deal deal over it because if you see here um boom you can see it get you know it's definitely strapped but all right let's get on the drag strip and let's see if we can get this guy up to speed pretty quick eventually we get fifty thousand too i want to upgrade clifford because you can see this actually is working him a little bit all right I'm... all right we're back at the farm let's get this guy unloaded and we oh shoot did that unload all the way yeah it looks like it did let's see where we're gonna put this guy we don't have a lot of room down there do we all right um let's take a look yeah i'm not seeing we might have to get into another shed eventually there's actually room here i might have to move the sprayer yeah, I'm going to have to move the sprayer. I'm not going to bore you guys with that, though. So, let's go oh, back over here. Let's grab the forklift. Um, Actually, we can go ahead and advance to the next month, right? There was nothing else. That corner header would be nice if we had the harvester, but uh, let's go to 9 o'clock. Of our August, I do believe... In August is, I think, when we're going to get be... This is going to be a busy month for us. In fact, we're not even going to get out of this month in this episode. Because um, there's going to be... Oh, man. Boy, what I would kill to have a har uh, cot harvester. We could get into that. And actually, that silage compactor... Ooh. Wait, is this a tree stump? Oh, all right, we're going to have to sell, I think we're going to trade in our old one to get some extra cash. Um, I do believe, oh, we don't, did we even have a tree stump thing? Oh, I'm not actually sure. All right, we're in the new month. Anyway, let's get super focused. Guys, quit distracting me with sales. All right, let's go over here. So, we had an issue, if you guys don't remember, the first time we bought seeds and stuff, it took us a while. Because I had to take the truck with the this on the back, which came off of just under 1,000 times on the trip there. And we also, um, the bail, we had a real tough time uh, getting this. We had actually put these on the truck trailer. And then get them out. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you. We don't need all four of them. But I would really like to grab all four of them to show you guys. Or, you know, let's let's not grab all four of them and make me look like an idiot. Alright, and then we can do this. Let's go up a little bit. And then we can go this way. Come on, get some power into your ride there. There we go. Kind of stacked them funny, didn't I? All right, let's lift up. And this is where the difference is. So last time on the bale trailer, we could not get these on the trailer. Oh, we can't either from the side. Okay, that's right. 
I forgot. I'm an idiot. So, this is why we have the ramps. Because <laughs> now we can take, when we buy them at the shop, we can bring this and take these and put these down right on the trailer just like this. And being able to do that and haul more equipment is huge. But if you see, let's lift this back up and go down. If I hadn't taken the 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 um, design two right here, uh, you can see this would have been a gap here in this forklift. Let's just be honest with my um, not so rich or petty driving skills at times. You can see how I would fall into the gap there. So let's get this back all nice. In fact, we, when we do get some money, we're going to have to restock over here. You can see our fertilizer is getting a little low. Seeds are starting to get down there. We haven't even filled the new cedar yet, um, which I'm hoping to get into in this episode. Actually, let's take a quick look. Get this guy over here. We do need to figure out a good place to put that trailer um yeah why don't we grab oh crap we already have man these chicken eggs are going crazy i'm really curious to see how much we get because to be honest with you i think we're going to be getting a lot let's get these tucked in a little bit here let's pick these up um what are you doing oh i had it tipped up too forward there we go. Yeah, I love the forklift, though. If the, That's like the major thing on the farm I really like. I actually like using forks on the tractors, too, but um, you kind of get a little burnt on in that doing pallets because the pallets and the, the front loaders on the tractors don't always get along, especially with me. Okay, let's grab this guy, too, get this guy backed up and see if we get another pallet in here. So we did advance. Um, I did. I do believe I wasn't able to show you guys on camera, but I believe we had like a quarter of a pallet. All right. So we have that moved. Um, let's move this out of the way. We gotta find some decent parking spots for this new equipment here. But these, the new, this new. I can't remember what the actual name is. We I always call them double deck flatbeds. Yeah, drop deck. That's yeah, that's right. Drop deck, flatbed. Okay, let's flip this up. Now I think Clifford's butt is gonna be a little fat, so we're gonna have to switch. Clifford, you got you got a lot of back end going on, buddy. Let's go ahead. We can hook you up over there, but I don't think we're gonna be able to drive through with Clifford. So. Let's go ahead and put this in here. I also, too, if you guys didn't notice, there's bales in there. Them are the ones from a long time ago. We may actually sell them when we get a chance. All right. So, to once I get this parked, I'm going to try to tuck this in here. Boy, this is a lot longer than I remember it being, but honestly, that's okay. Let's drive in as far as we can. Come on. Come on, buddy. You can do her. All right. If we just back up a little bit and we just slam it. There we go. Perfect. Didn't even scratch it. What are you stuck on now? Really, game. What is that crud? Huh. Wow, that's super interesting. It isn't... Here, let's see. It can't be one of them. Sometimes... I'll, there is. This is a really good game. But sometimes it does this weird crap. Like this. And to be honest, it could be something I'm doing and not paying attention to. Let's see if that helped it. How did that help it? All right, let's unhook here. Hmm. Sometimes farm sim me makes me wonder. All right, let's go ahead. Get Clifford. Put this back a little bit. 
Makes me wonder if we're going to have that problem with backing out or taking it out too. But let's go get Clifford Park because Clifford is going to take a break for right now. We're not going to get the cedar out just yet. So we earlier we talked about what we're going to be doing instead of baling. And for the time being, we do have all this grass ready and we do need to use it. Um, let's see here. Let's grab... Yeah, let's grab him, and we're going to grab this one mower, and then I'm going to show you guys what we're doing. Where is the, uh, of course I parked that right in the way, we're just going to do a little bit of a love tap right there, nice. And we're going to hook up the forger wig in here, guys. So I kind of do this thing that I've done forever in Farm Sim. I don't know if a lot of other people do it or not. I don't know. Maybe. Let's uh, unfold the mower. No. Wait, what? That's weird. Alright, let's lower it. Let's get that turned. We can turn that on. And, and blue should have enough power to do this. So, actually, let's turn it off right quick. Let's go down here. Where we got a little bit more room. Uh, let's dive in between here. Alright, so we're going to turn this loader wagon on. If you guys don't know what the loader wagon actually does, you're going to see, we turn it on. You can see it kind of like picks stuff off the ground. And it happens to be that these always pretty much work out perfectly with the grass mowers as you can see we're probably not leaving a trail and if we were I was just gonna use uh, the rake to bring it all in all right so let's we don't even have to oh let's turn it off yep yeah. let's uh you know what let's try to not take down that sign right away all right so I'm gonna do this and fill it up and bring you guys back here in a minute let's get this trailer filled up Alright, so we got the forager wagon filled up. Now this can you we can do this with straw too. Like instead of bailing in the last episode, we could have done this with straw, but we have this bunker silo sitting right here. Just like this, completely empty. And with us not doing bales, we should be using our grass. So what we are going to be doing is we are going to fill this up. Now, the first one doesn't matter, but normally we want to back it in pretty good and get it pretty close. So I think we're going to start back here. We're not going to be a threat to fill this thing. Um, so we need to work on um, unloading. Uh, let's see, unload here. As you see, we're going to dump it out just like this. And what this is going to do is going to give us extra money, hopefully in the middle of the year when everything else is kind of slow. This is going to be kind of like our backup bank account. And, and also, we kind of need silage. And so if you guys aren't aware, silage kind of sells for a lot um, in the game. We're not going to get too crazy, obviously, with it. But you can see right now, if something were to come on sale, for example, like a, I don't know, let's say a... A Weber silage compactor, which we actually are going to need probably, we should probably buy for this. Um, I think if we advance one day, we might have the money for it. And we can compact this down and cover it. But we don't want to compact it yet. We want to fill this up more with what is up here, or with our grass. 
but let's see if we get lucky. Let's go to 8 o'clock. See if that thing stays up there for sale. Because I don't really want to sell any pallets for it. But that silage compactor, we don't have really a big tractor, like a quad track or something with tracks that would actually be good for that. Oh, it is gone. Darn it. Well, we missed out on that, but... Is that better than the plow we have? 3.5, and our plow is... Um, actually, we could sell our plow and get that new plow for less. So, well, guys, we're going to buy something else here. <laughs> um, whoa, what is that? What does that do? Oh. Oh, it must kind of till it when you go over it as the rows go. So it's like one row behind to, uh, cultivating it, making a seed bed. Um, For right now, let's not get that. But we have to remember that it can do that. Look at that, that horsepower rating. 220 horse, you guys see that on the left side? That just happens to be perfect for um, Clifford here. So, in between episodes, I'm going to go grab, or at least get ready to grab the new plow. We are going to, I'm going to actually mow a little bit more and do one more round up there. As you see, we had a spot left. Um, but, guys, that's the end of the episode. This episode went so quick for me. It's unreal. Anyway, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Have a good one, folks.